Anthony and I'm a paramedic and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do a primary survey on a medical patient. The reason why we do a primary survey is to check for any life-threatening injuries. Before we enter any scene we must ensure that the scene is safe and that universal precautions are in place. We approach the patient and we establish contact with the patient. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Can you tell me your name? Simon. Okay, so Simon's talking to me. I have checked the first thing on my primary server, which is a airway. Because he's talking to me, he is also breathing. If I need to check his breathing, I will check it now. So we're on to B for breathing. When we're happy with breathing, we then go on to C for circulation. To establish the patient's circulation, first thing we do is check for the patient's pulse, checking for rate, rhythm, and volume. We also check cap refill. And we can also check the patient's skin color and skin temperature. Once we're happy with circulation, we go on to D for disability. We check the patient's main disability. And also here, we will check pearl, pupils equal round and reactive to light. This gives an indication if the patient has a head injury. To check pearl, darken the eye, get a pen torch, remove the hand and the pupil should react to the light. Do this in both eyes. Also at disability we will check the Avpu scale. Simon, can you tell me where you are? I'm in Dublin. Can you tell me what day it is today? Today is show, Simon. So Simon knows who he is, where he is and what day it is. Therefore, he's A on the output scale. Next, we, what we check in the primary survey is E for expose and examine. At this stage, we will expose and examine, looking for any other injuries. We would also check all the limbs for many alert tags, which may give us the reason why this person is having a medical episode. That concludes the primary survey.